Bonjour et bienvenue à la Belle Vilaine, our two dog-friendly gîtes or holiday cottages in southern Brittany. Here you can see that um, this is the front gates area and we are in a quiet hamlet. All of our neighbours are French. And there you see the fly ball area, which we'll have another look at later. <coughs> Here's um, my buddleia. We've um, counted at least 18 different species of butterfly and dayfly and moths on it during our time, including swallowtail butterfly and uh, broad bordered bee hawk moth. Um, there's a parking area for three cars, our fish pond, and uh, our three cars. Our house is, uh, we'll have a look at around the back of that uh, later on in the video. Our house is the one there on the angle, and then the two sheets you see here next to each other. And a parking, an extra parking area there for the end sheet. We'll go inside and have a look at those in a moment. Both sheets are equipped to the same standard and they are a mirror image of each other. Um, although on the website it says sheet 1 and sheet 2 availability, we don't actually guarantee which of the two sheets you will be in. Um, it would be very difficult to do so. Um, some of our clients, we have many returning clients, 80% um, of the bookings in 2014 are from returning clients. Um, some prefer one sheet, some the other. We always try to accommodate, but we cannot guarantee um, due to changeover dates and um, last minute bookings, etc. Um, it would be impossible <coughs> without um, refusing bookings. Um, so, um, I'm very proud of my planted area at the front. As you can probably tell, I keep showing all my plants. Especially our geraniums. And there you have the flyball area, as we call it. It's um, just a, an, exercise, an extra exercise area, which is fenced and gated. Um, for you to have fun with your dogs. <coughs> There's uh, table and chairs, parasols, uh, the flyball run there, and even a mini A-frame. So let's go and have a look inside and on the door you have a hanger for your lead, dog's leads and uh, here we have a view of the dining area um, and there you can see on the table uh, there's an information folder where we make available uh, lots of information uh, to include um, maps of the local walks, beaches etc. Uh, gas cooker, uh, microwave, toaster kettle, there's a dishwasher below there, um, views out onto the hamlet there, for the parking area, if you can see past my lovely geraniums, I'm very proud, they were all cuttings that I took last year. Okay, uh, yes, as you see, dishwasher, um, lots of storage, um, cupboards, um, an extra work surface there with a fridge underneath and those cupboards are, and drawers are empty for you to put your shopping away in. Um, a wardrobe for you to hang any um, coats etc. Uh, both sheets have got um, a, at least one um, bed settee downstairs um, as an extra um, but they do have two bedrooms upstairs. Okay, uh, we saw their television. Um, stairs are open plan. We do provide stair gates. If you wish for your dog to stay downstairs, they don't have to. Uh, you can use the stair gate. And if you want to put the stair gate at the top of the stairs um, so that your dog doesn't lose his way in the night um, and fall down the stairs because um, he doesn't know um, the sheet, um, we think of safety. 
Okay, they're through the fly screens and a view of the garden. Um, this was taken at about five o'clock in the evening in July and you can see the patio area is in the shade which is often, often very good um, when it gets hot uh, but the rest of the garden is still in the sun so you could sunbathe if you wanted to and you can see there we have screening between the two Jeet gardens you see across to the other Jeet garden and that in the distance is our house and the other side of those that hedge is our garden and there you can see the views across to Sandole across the fields. And there we have uh, lots of bamboo and some more screening between uh, this garden and the flyball area. Uh, here you can see another view of the patio area. That was taken earlier in the day um, and you see that was in the sun. In the morning it is in the sun. Um, Okay, this is the bathroom. Uh, should say shower room, really. And this is the double bedroom. We provide reading lights, as you can see, um, pine wardrobes, chests of drawers, etc. Chair. And uh, the blinds here are very um, effective. It really, if you close the blinds down and close the window, it really is pitch black in there for a good night's sleep. And here again, a view of the hamlet and beyond. We are on a hill above the river. We can't see the river um, very easily from the house. You would have to sort of crane your neck. <laughs> um, but um, it. as you can see there, closing down the blinds. In fact, it's a very good idea to have them closed at this time of year, in July or August, um, and certainly in the afternoon because the sun is round and it helps to keep it cooler. Okay, so just spanning around again, and you'll see in a moment a chest of drawers and uh, a fan. Uh, there are radiators um, upstairs as well, electric radiators for um, the colder weather. And here is the second bedroom with uh, two single beds. And this one has got a winding blind. I've opened the blind so that you can have a look out over the garden and a better view of the countryside beyond. And again, you can see now part of our garden in the distance there. And that's the sheet garden next door. And this this sheet's garden. And the flyball area. And there, through the hamlet, you can see the beginning of um, one of the, there were lots of the walkies that we do, and one of the walkies that is actually featured on this website as a film. So, here we are now in the other Jeep garden, uh, looking uh, at the patio, and you can see the patio furniture again there, um, having a peep indoors through the fly screen. Um, in between the two sheets is an information room which is accessible via a door from the um, patio from each sheet as you can see across there there's the other sheets um, door. Um, they have different keys and so you can stay separated or if uh, two hot families are holidaying together um, they can leave them open to the access between the back gardens. Um, visitors books for um, all your thoughts and read other people's comments. Um, information, um, books, DVDs, games, that sort of thing. Um, there's uh, people like cleaning things, uh, clothes uh, errors, washing machine, Vancouver, and more interesting things like barbecues, <laughs> uh, power soles, etc. And here you can see the dining, the patio furniture. And here we are now, inside I'm stood on the stairs looking down at the kitchen area. As you see, just really a mirror image of the other sheet. 
as the dining table, meets information book, um, stair gate in place in this sheet. And as I said, that we provide those, provide those as much for your dogs as for as for, as for children. Um, and um, some people prefer their dogs to not go upstairs. Uh, if your dog goes upstairs at home, we're quite happy for them to go upstairs here. Um, if your dogs like a cuddle on the settee, uh, well, bring a throw or two with you and that won't be a problem either. Um, we just prefer that you put your throw on there, um, so less cleaning for us. Um, there you can see again the kitchen area, which is very similar to the one next door. Um, smoke alarms um, and um, carbon monoxide alarms uh, in this place as well. Um, there is an outside um, light for each garden as well. And there you can see if you go over to the garden again. Okay. And there's the television. Oh, and well, you might need a glass. Might be. This is France after all with cheap wine. so that you know when it's time for walkies and to notice for dogs. The gas cookers, um, we, we provide the gas bottles, you just need to let us know if they're running low and we'll change them over for you. Fire extinguisher there you can see and oh yes. Bon So just while we're looking around this uh, double room, which uh, is very much um, similarly equipped to the one in the other um, sheet that you saw, um, downstairs as well as uh, the electric radiators, we do provide uh, color gas fires, which you probably saw as you were looking around. There's also a third um, put you up bed um, in each of the uh, twin rooms, which is um, uh, okay for small children. Talking of small children, they'll have a lovely poster of animals. <laughs> and through to the shower room. reaching views again. And a view from the uh, twin room out again so that you can see across the countryside, the gardens and across to one of our walkies paths. So as promised here's a view of our back garden, a new border there that I'm in the process of planting up. Uh, there's our back of our house which extends be, um, behind the sheets and um, our decking. Uh, there's Cass running around having a ball. Um, and in the bottom left hand corner we have a full agility um, course um, which is a registered venue for Valor Virtual Agility. Um, 
and that's how we compete these days. Uh, you may have caught a side of myself and Isla in the agility area there, and there was Gracie. Um, they're the day kennels which we very occasionally use for our own dogs if we go out for more than a couple of hours. Um, here you've got Cass playing with one of our regulars, um, Meg. Um, nowadays um, we are happy for you to decide if your dogs um, are um, happy to be left in the jeet for a short period, uh, for example if you want to go shopping. Um, as long as you're happy your dogs are settled and aren't going to be destructive or um, bark um, so that we know they're happy and that we're happy too. Um, but usually once um, clients' dogs are uh, have had a few days to get used to it, that's, that's fine. Um, but that's uh, for you to decide um, with um, our permission. Um, and uh, a lot of the time, as you can see, um, our dogs um, and guests' dogs just end up um, playing around together, and um, which is very nice. Um, I'm a full member of the Pet Professional Guild for Force Free Trainers, um, and I'm also a full overseas member of the Institute of Modern Dog Trainers, um, following extensive assessment. Um, so we offer um, as an optional extra, the chance to uh, take um, a residential training course with me. You can choose between um, agility, um, trick workshops, um, basic skills, um, life skills, and like recall, um, etc. And um, behaviour adjustment training I also offer. Um, for um, any um, issues that your dog may have um, and I have an excellent track record of being able to help guests um, with their dogs um, and many of my um, of our regulars um, come back and take training uh, each time they come. Training is usually for um, a, an hour or so in the morning um, to leave you free to enjoy your holiday and the rest of the day without clock watching to be back in time for your lesson. Um, I make available a practice equipment and just in case all that isn't enough um, to make us the best dog friendly holiday cottages you could want, um, we also have uh, spare dog bowls, uh, leads, harnesses uh, which we can lend you if necessary. Um, we will lend you uh, some do interactive dog games. Um, we will also um, even make your uh, return visit vet appointment for you with our vet um, who sees all of the dogs that come here every year, of which there are many, um, all of who go back to the UK and um, need a visit to the vet before the trip back between one to five days. Uh, don't worry about that, we'll sort it all out for you, I'll even phone and make the appointment for you. Um, so there you go, La Belle Vilaine Gites, the dog friendly holiday. <laughs>